In this season of anomie in our country, it's gratifying to earn the confidence of special fighting forces in a rescue operation. The Niger state government has commended the gallantry of men of the Nigerian Air Force Special Forces in the rescue of seven Chinese nationals who were kidnapped from a mining site on the 29th of June by hundreds of terrorists at the Ajata Aboki mine in Shiruru local government area. Lamentably, many soldiers and policemen were killed in the attack. Now, the search and rescue mission was undertaken by men of the 271 NAF detachment in Berlin-Gwari. Governor Ab Abubakar Sanusi Bello has commended the, the commander and men of the detachment and promised his continued cooperation with security forces in the state. So be it, Jide. Yes, um, this particular, I remember this particular attack in which um, those Chinese uh, workers were taken away and it was actually conducted by men of, um, of a popular terrorist uh, by the name Kachala. Okay. Kachala's men um, killed our troops and they took away the Chinese. They asked the Chinese, each of the Chinese, to pay 500 million naira as ransom. You can see their, their, their uh, logic is if the train passengers can pay 100 million each, <laughs> and the Pakistani amongst them pay 200 million. Why shouldn't these Chinese pay 500 million each? And because the, the Chinese would not pay, one of them was actually gone down. The rest of them had been in captivity since the 29th of June. Now, mm. the special forces of the Air Force conducted this operation under the cover of darkness using night vision uh, equipment you know, using unmanned area vehicle. Where the Air Force goes on this kind of operation, they prefer yeah. to use the unmanned area vehicle because unlike the Tucanos, it doesn't generate noise. It, oh, really? So it doesn't generate the kind of noise that will attract the enemy to, uh, to know that uh, something terrible is coming. So they crept on them before they realized that uh, they were in the area. They had been surrounded and then they advanced. The area was surrounded, and then the special forces advanced. Moving, yeah. And then these guys fled. When they fled, some of the Chinese men too fled. But two of the Chinese men were too weak. Apparently, they were injured. They were too weak. They could not move. So they were the ones who then told the special forces the direction in which they are fled. Yeah, uh, the others fled. Yeah. So they then moved in uh, and then um, effectively rescued, uh, rescued them. I am happy for one thing. The Nigerian Air Force, under the leadership of Amao, has been doing a good job. They don't get praised all the time. In fact, all the time that they deserve to be praised, they don't get praised. But progress is being made. Operations are being carried out. Even, even yesterday, in Dan Sadao, area of Zamfara. They still uh, conducted a very big operation. We are waiting to hear about the extent of success of yeah. that one. But for the Nigerian forces to conduct this kind of operation, rescue so these people. This must be the rescue. Yes, yeah. that's, uh, because they took them to the Air Force facility after the yeah. rescue. To conduct this kind of operation, rescue them without anyone being killed. I, I mean, it deserves celebration. We need to give them the uh, accolades, the kudos that they deserve. And I must say that there is a lot more that we will achieve if our people also provide information for our armed forces when, when they need it. I think also that we need to invest more in these unmanned area vehicles because they also serve the purpose of surveillance. We are you won't like to take surface troops, the, uh, or your manned area vehicle, the drones, can actually go to such places, and even the pictures that they are going to take, 
will enable you to know where there is uh, where you need to go to That's it. and take, and, uh, take appropriate uh, steps. So yeah. I commend the Air Force uh, under the leadership of Amo. Amo is the kind of leader who just does his thing quietly. You mm -hmm. hardly read about him. Mm. He's not interested in politics. He's just interested in doing his job. And was somebody who was a fighter, a fighter pilot on the Alpha Jet for so for many years. I'm not surprised that some of the uh, uh, progress that we are making, especially with the coming of Tucanos and other yeah, yeah. area platforms. Yeah, uh, GKB, it, it, um, it is possible looking at looking at what's unfolding before our eyes. It is possible to call the bluff of these bad boys. Yeah. Ultimately, that is what this will achieve. Because for many years, they have operated with rampant immunity. Yeah. For so long. And that, of course, leads to that. More people will not try to join that particular area to also do the same thing. But successes like this will go a long way in sending a very strong signal that immunity is no longer a given when it comes to the issue of banditry and terrorism in our country. The Nigeria Air Force has been very lucky with the quality of leadership they have had. The last two chief of, chief of air staff have uh, been professionals, people who dedicated themselves not to the politics of the military, but to getting results. His predecessor in office, I'm sure you know, was also a well-decorated fighter pilot who also succeeded to other states. And yeah. point to another yeah. sentence. So the Air Force is in good hands, if you can use that word. What we need right now is for them to take out as many bodies as they can. Because if you remember there was a time last year, or late 2020, when there was a string of successful operations carried okay. out by Nigeria Air Force. Got to a point that we thought that we will get rid of these people under a year. Mm. But you and I know that uh, what we are facing is a marathon. Not it's a, a marathon, and not then, a dash. Yeah. Uh, once in a while, we have setbacks. And that's what we had when we one or two planes crashed during the course of the year. Mm. But that has not dampened the enthusiasm of the Air Force, and uh, they've done extremely well. I give kudos to their chief, and I give kudos to the boys on the field. Uh, it, so, so you, it is not Uhuru yet, uh, but if we go about uh, the campaign methodically, obviously uh, the best is yet to come. Yes, uh, every attack like this takes um, a lot of planning. And when you plan, when you work hard at planning, then the execution will mm. most likely be successful. They had suspected, based on the um, output of the reconnaissance missions conducted over that area, that these guys were keeping people there. You can imagine kidnapping people in the Shiroro area and then taking them all the way to Brinengwari. Those forests stretch all the way from Niger to Kebi State. So it's a, it's a problem that we have. And on their bikes, they can link all of those states together. You know all those states used to be, used to be part of the old northwestern state. Oh, yeah. You know? And the governor of the old northwestern state he, at that time uh, is the father of the current governor of Niger State. Oh, really? Yes, Kone Sani Bello. Sani Bello. Yeah. So, okay, I remember. Yes, that yeah. old yeah. Niger, very yeah. big state at that time. I wonder how one person could run such a big state where the present day Sokoto state was part of it, mm. present day Kebi was part of it, uh, Niger, Zamfara, Zamfara, you know? Yeah. So yeah. the forests link one another, and these boys understand the, the whole terrain. The terrain. So mm. I'm not surprised that they moved someone because in the moment the operation was conducted, they knew that the armed forces would zero in on that area. Yeah. So they moved them, and that's what they do. They moved them to Brinengwari. You know, and it's, uh, in Kaduna State, and it's, uh, it's actually in that place that the Air Force suspected that they had some people there, and then they had to plan, use the cover of darkness, you know, 
and, uh, and to, the, go after the, them. to go after them. And it was successful. Even the Kaduna state governor, too, has called Commander. to thank them, to congratulate the uh, chief of the hair staff for the breakthrough that they recorded. I'm, I'm particularly uh, pleased by this breakthrough. And I hope that they can follow this up by making other um, uh, breakthroughs. Put, put simply, it is possible. Of course it, it is. is we have the capacity. Yeah. We have the capacity. If we align good planning with good execution, honestly, the sky is the limit.